live. Oh, sure. Too late. Too late. Oh, hold on. I have to update iTunes. Oh, no, I don't. I mean, I kind of do. Oh, sure. Well, I'm playing some random song now. Welcome to Bourbon and Zeppelins. I have no idea what Where I'm we playing. play random songs. I hope it's a good song, everybody. I know it's uh, some new song, but hit I can't record. hear it. Oh, yeah, I got hit record. <laughs> did I hit stream? I did, because we're streaming. We're streaming now, right? Yep. Okay. All right. Hello, Internet. Welcome to Bourbon and Zeppelin. It's episode number 15. I'm one of your hosts, David. I'm the other one, Jeremy. There we go. Now that we've got that nonsense out of the way. Oh, i got to stop playing music. There we go. We are going on to a second song. And now, time for the news. I'm super professional. We. This is why we need a producer. Yeah. If anyone wants to come and sit here with us and uh, use a computer so I don't have to use a computer as much as I am. And drink bourbon. We will, yes, we will ply you with bourbon. Um, maybe coffee or something. Snacks. Snacks. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not going to promise anything. I'm not in charge of the budget. Um, I don't know who is. We have a budget? I don't think we do. Uh, so it's been a couple of weeks. Uh, last week, we couldn't make it because Shaw, you know, big telecom, conspired against us. And broke the internet. Broke the internet in this localized area. The whole I'm, I'm, building. I'm doing this, not just this room, but yeah, the whole building. This whole building. Probably the surrounding buildings, too, were Could probably be. out of internet also. They just ran out. Ran out of internet. So, uh, a little bit of catching up to do. How have you, uh, what have you been doing for two weeks? For two weeks? Well, we've been uh, plotting and scheming for our, kicks for our Kickstarter, the Bourbon and Zeppelin's Kickstarter project. So that was a lot of fun last week. We yeah, yeah, we scrapped. Nobody uh, could see us. We scrapped an idea and we came up with a new idea. And we're probably going to scrap this one too, honestly. Could be. That's just how we roll. Always, always with better ideas. Two of us. We're idea geniuses keep forgetting how to open this thing. We are geniuses, and Jeremy hasn't figured out the internet yet. Good. This internet is hard. Oh, I think this is the one. <laughs> oh, every, Jeremy's just trying to open every this thing up. Si every damn week. This isn't it. Uh, no, you're looking at the preview. You're editing stuff. Don't edit that. Don't. Okay, just Man, you better not change the stream key. Right. <laughs> 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 we'll find out in a hurry. Oh, hey. Uh, yeah, so last week, uh, while we weren't on the air, we at least tried to do something productive, and we were coming up with ideas for uh, for our Kickstarter, as we said. Uh, looks like we might uh, be doing a relatively, mm, I don't know what the word I'm looking for here is, a game. Uh, just forget about the adjective I was going to use. Um, but uh, Insert adjective here, we'll play Mad Libs with it later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, a, a video game. And it started out being sort of simpler, I think. And then we made it really complex. And then we had a slightly better idea that I think simplified it a bit again. Maybe and doing that like Roman themed thing. Yeah, I don't actually know where we where we finally ended up. Yeah, so, so we're gonna have to have another meeting next week when Shaw takes the internet away from us. No, I'm keeping it. <laughs> I'm not going to let them do it. We're giving them a lot of free advertising for someone who screwed us last week. We're not giving them good advertising. Oh, that's true. Or is this like a no news is... Who knows? No they got their name in the news. <laughs> their name in the news. Bourbon and Zeppelin news. People are talking about it, so that's good. All right. It's like Floyd Mayweather uh, uh, talking about doing an MMA match. <laughs> and other terrible ideas. Like everyone knows he's not going to do it because that's really dumb. But, hey, I'm talking about Floyd Mayweather, and I wouldn't normally be. Hey, I finally got it. Oh, oh look at that. About time. Okay. Do you see how many people are viewing? Mine still says preview. Oh, Mine says, says preview. Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe we're all broken. I hope we're streaming. I think we are. Could be. All right. Uh, and you've been taking up a new hobby. Uh, yeah, I started uh, <laughs> boxing lessons on Monday. Uh, I'm in a lot of pain right now. I mean, you can't tell because I have a real high pain threshold. You do? <laughs> sort of. My, uh, my shoulders are killing me right now. Uh, my abs and anything correlated killing me right now. I've done two lessons and I've been wishing for death uh, every time and I still go back. And 
I'm not going tonight, obviously, because I'm here, but going tomorrow night like a sucker. I, uh, I bought a skipping rope today, which is something I've never even considered doing before this. Like a rope? Uh, no, no, like a, well, yeah, I guess. It's, it's more well, a piece of What makes it a skipping rope? It has handles and uh, ball bearings. Oh, a fancy skipping rope. Well, fancy-ish. It's not like just a rope. Because I have to, it's like part of the warm-up is skip for 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sure. 15 minutes is, is no problem. Except that it's also forever when you're doing something like skipping. Yeah. So if you haven't, uh, if you're an adult and you haven't skipped rope in a while, let me tell you, it takes a lot out of you. It is, it looks sleazy. Okay. So you had to do, did you make the whole 15 minutes? Uh, yeah, like I can actually my my endurance for this is surprisingly not too terrible. Okay. The the problem I have is that I'm just bad at skipping, right? So the skill of skipping. The skill of skipping. I'm just not good the, at it. The skill that eight year old girls yeah. have mastered. Nope, not this guy. I uh, congratulations. I, I, you're I, not an eight year old. I, girl. I, I sort of count as I go, right? And so I, I try to keep time. So I'm like in my head, I'm like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The, mm -hmm. I think the best I've ever done is like sixteen in a row before I've like hit something, and uh, like with the rope or like. Like jumped into something. Or, no, well, sorry. Like I uh, hit myself with the rope and oh. tangled myself up in the rope. One thing I discovered you could do that I didn't know you could do that really hurts is uh, if you mistime your jump, you can hit yourself right on the end of your toes. Like I'm wearing shoes and it Thank just it just toes. goes it just goes over <laughs> it, yeah, it just goes over like the lip of the rubber piece on the end of my sneakers and it goes and smashes right into my big toes, like both of them, and it stings. Like it hurts a lot. What, what kind of rope are you swinging around? A uh, little nylon skipping rope. Huh, no kidding, eh? Yeah. So I went and bought one so I can practice at home so it's not so embarrassing. So, so you look better at the gym. So I look better at the gym. Golf also, I'll probably get exercise doing it, which is, you know. Okay, so you made it the full 15 minutes. At what point did you start to realize this was going to be a long slog? Uh, it actually went by not too... It, yeah. it went by pretty quick, uh, I will say. Because I have a rowing machine at home, oh, yeah. which I use not enough, mm -hmm. but it's it's nice. I like my rowing machine. Uh, it's like my weights. Yeah. Uh, so I go to I go. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna go for like 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. At like seven minutes, I'm like, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing, but there's a time in my life where I just sort of learned how to get through boring things, uh, like five minutes at a time. Uh, I don't know exactly, like uh, treadmills yeah. and stuff like that. You, like, you can just keep doing it? Yeah, because that's I can definitely just, a factor. I can just do it, right? Like, if you turn your... So, like, part of the reason why I'm counting to four is, like, if I'm on a treadmill or, like, a like a stationary bike or something like that, I just count my steps or, or cycles uh, up to 100, and then I just start over. And I just go, do, 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 up to 100, and I start over. Uh, in my head, and oh. so if you do that a few times, not out loud, not out loud, <laughs> just just in my head. But if you do that a, a, enough times without looking at the clock, you look up the clock, and it's like five minutes is fast. And then you put your head down, and you just, just keep counting. Do, 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 do. So I find if as long as I'm counting what I'm doing, which is part of why I was well, I was trying to also keep a rhythm in my jump. So that's why I was only counting to four, <laughs> right? Like music. <laughs> and uh, One, two, considering three. I drum in a band, you'd think I'd be better at having some upper and lower. Uh, body between. coordination, but I just I don't, and uh, I think my left wrist wrote, doesn't do the same thing my right hand is doing when I skip because the rope sort of comes over at an angle. It feels like I haven't I haven't clipped myself on the back of the head yet, but it's a real concern when you're looking at yourself in the mirror because so I'm like oh I'm doing okay, and then I start thinking about that rope hitting me, and then things all go sideways on me. Well, I, can you reach your arms low enough to actually... I don't know that you can... It's like licking your elbow. You can't actually Well, get your the thing is I didn't, like, measure the skipping rope. Like, there's just a bunch at the gym there, so I just grabbed one off the, off you, the wall. And without, if you grabbed the eight-year-old girls, you might actually... Maybe I grabbed okay. an eight-year-old's uh, yeah. skipping rope, right? So who knows? Like, it's barely clearing my head, but part of that's because it's going sideways a little bit. So I guess I could so. stick my one arm out. I don't know. <laughs> Do it that way. All right. Probably a terrible idea. So that's what we've been up to. Yeah. Today in news, breaking news today, 
No more wine. Wah, wah. Sorry, I just got a, a text message about beer in BC for some reason. Beer um, in BC? Uh, yeah. Are we banning their beer too? Uh, Alberta is <laughs> banning <laughs> BC wine. Yeah, because of oil. <laughs> <laughs> There, that's all you need to know about it. <laughs> Can you put together the rest of that sentence? The rest of that story? Does that make sense to you? There we go. Oh, uh, I forgot to put the words up. Put the words up. Which, oh. End the story. Hold on, I did, I did switch to the story. Oh, okay. You just, it was going to take a second. All right, so. Uh, Explain it to the peoples. Alberta has a lot of oil. Yes. We want to sell it because... We need money. Because we don't our, need because our economy depends solely on how oil does. Not so largely. <laughs> Let's try to represent it. Give a balanced representation of what <sighs> our economy is largely based on the oil and gas industry. Yes, we do here in Alberta. On that uh, and so I was just telling you what other people tell me. By extension, Canada's economy is largely. Uh, driven by Alberta's revenues from the oil and gas industry. Uh, we need to take this oil and we need to sell it to other people so that they can give us money so that we can give everybody else in Canada money and then they can buy food. That's basic economics in Canada 101. Yes. Right. So Sell Alberta oil, get food. That's how it works. So we need to get that oil out uh to a shore so that we yes. can put it on tankers and send it around the world to for uh, everybody to you to pollute oceans everywhere when that tanker inevitably sinks not inevitably <laughs> occasionally <laughs> <laughs> sorry i'm just trying so to be anyway, balanced last year we tried to build a pipeline that goes east east That's north. That's south. <laughs> I mean, they don't know that. East. And uh, Montreal said, no, you can't put a pipeline out here. We're too busy dumping sewage in the St. Lawrence. Oh, yep. Right. So we're okay. Uh, well, I guess we're going to go west. And BC said, no, you can't ship your oil through a pipeline that's right next to the pipeline that's already there. So there is a pipeline, Kinder Morgan pipeline going. Mm -hmm. We're just out. adding a second one? And we're adding a second one beside it so that we can oh, send not, more. I honestly didn't know that. Um, and by the way, how old do you think the pipeline that's there is? Uh, 30 years. I have no idea, actually. Oh. But the point <laughs> of the matter is older than a brand new one that's built. And right. a brand new one that's built versus one that's older... Mm -hmm. One of the two is going to be safer, sure. and it's not the older one. Are we discontinuing the use of the older one if the newer one gets built? Probably not immediately. So, I mean, like, yeah, fair enough. It's not. Anyway, the <laughs> point is um, we want to send it out west through pipeline because, by the way, the other way we get our oil out is by rail. Yes. Which, that's a, that is that's inevitably. A, that's a way worse idea. Way worse. And really, Quebec should know that. <laughs> Ooh. Was, that was only like a couple of years ago, Lac Megantic. Uh, maybe two summers? Something like that. Something yeah, like that. Like that was like a disaster. Rail is not the Wobberman. Yeah, right. Wobberman. Wobberman, you can't go swimming there ever. Because every year ever. there's like a train that spills oil in our lakes. There's like 30 derailments a week. Yeah. It's... It, like, it's insane how bad rail is to transport oil. Yeah. But pipeline? No. Can't do that because sometimes they leak. And granted, sometimes they do. But I also know the amount of money that oil companies have to spend to make sure that those pipelines are uh, uh, safe, secure, not giving problems. They, they look for erosion around the pipeline right away on um, a weekly basis. There are pipeline patrols. Nope, can't do that. We're concerned about the environment. Right. Okay. Yes, the environment is important. Yes, we should take care of the environment. 
Absolutely. We would do that by shipping the oil through a pipeline instead of sending it on a train. You send it by a hot air balloon. No one's tried that. Nope, because the laws of thermodynamics or won't allow it by Zeppelin. Let's put it in a that giant an bag full of hydrogen and, <laughs> and, and hang big things accrued from it and just float it over the mountains. Float it on out. We'll sell it that way. Anyway, uh, BC said no. So, um, Mrs. Notley? Ms. Ms. Notley? I don't actually know. Right Honorable Rachel Notley? Yeah. Said fine. If we can't send our oil out to the coast through a pipeline that we're going to build, then we're going to stop buying your wine, BC. Yes. We're not going to import any more wine. Correct. So, what do we think about that? I like it. I think it's a good move. Because there's one thing that Albertans love just as much as oil. Wine. It's getting drunk. Right, so why is she punishing us for a crappy situation? Well, there's a, we can still get drunk, just not on BC wine. It just had, And actually, uh, I heard an advertisement, and they actually said, the next time you're thinking about buying, you know, having a glass of wine, yeah. think about maybe having some Alberta craft beer instead. Yeah. <laughs> well, Al Alberta's <laughs> better at beer than it is at wine, to oh, be oh, fair. For sure. No, that's not my... <laughs> that's, I, the, the whole situation, the whole exchange, uh, seems... Like, hearing it is totally cuckoo brain silly pants. We've been getting into, like, the, 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 the whole stupid thing with license plates in Saskatchewan, like, a month ago. We, got into, we got into some sort of, like, issue with... Uh, they didn't Ooh, want you people... And I? No, not us. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> Alberta and Saskatchewan had some sort of issue with, like, uh, Alberta workers working in... Saskatchewan. Okay. Sorry, it wasn't like making license plates. It was, uh, you know, finding Albertans with Albertan license plates working in Saskatchewan. And Saskatchewan didn't like that. They were angry that we were stealing jobs from Saskatchewanites. Maybe Google Saskatchewanians? that. Saskatchewanians? Maybe, yeah. I don't know. Who cares? I, <laughs> <laughs> Fair point. I, I don't know. It... it it seems juvenile to me. I'm not sure. I like that there's a response. Mm -hmm. um, I like that we're sort of we're gonna we're gonna take a firm stand. Um, See, we're doing something that is like it's a huge industry for BC, right? Like right, wine's a big thing for them. We don't need their wine, so it's an easy thing to turn away and be like, mm -hmm. we don't need it. That's fine. We can get wine from anywhere. True. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. But. Um, Maybe this is what it is. I feel like the government, BC government, mm -hmm. said no. And so Alberta said, fine, we're going to punish all of these BC small businesses. We're, uh, gonna, yeah. we're not, we're not going to hurt you. We're going to hurt your wife. Well, I mean, those people have to pay taxes, right? So, I mean, it does really hurt the government also. It, it by extension, hurts the government, not directly. Right, but, I mean, so, how is that any different, really, than what BC is doing? If they say no to oil, that affects, you know, everyone who works in the oil patch. First, first they're the first line, because they're the people who are going to lose their jobs. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, uh, like, that's not attacking Papa, the government, yeah, it's so attacking private So, citizens. Papa BC... Yeah. says, I'm going to hurt your kid. Yeah. So Mama Alberta says, fine, I'll hurt your kid. Right. That seems like... Uh, that seems juvenile. And maybe it's still the right response. Well, I what, don't know. What, maybe like, what, what are the alternatives? Like, what... And maybe it's just that there's no alternatives. I'd, like, what do we say? We, yeah, maybe like, they're... Like, the, like, this is what a trade embargo is, right? Like, you can't... That's that's but within you've the, defined a trade embargo. I know, but within our own country, like is that's this, the whole problem. Right? Okay, so <laughs> is that it shouldn't be happening between provinces? So, <laughs> that's not a ju like it's not a juvenile thing. It's so, just a dumb thing. This is the question: Do two wrongs make a right? I mean, no, but I mean something has to happen here, right? So we can't just be if like only we had okay, like shuck. <laughs> I I agree. We, can, we <laughs> true. We can't just do nothing. Um, if only we had, like, another government that was, like, over top of 
the provincial governments yeah. and could help. To be fair, they like did say out. that. To, to be fair, they did say that they uh, were coming to talk to BC and tell them that they have to take our oil. I believe, <laughs> um, but the response time on it is abysmally slow. Yeah, like I mean, I get you know, I, I guess if you're at the federal level, you sort of want like because provinces sort of want their autonomy too, right? So right, like, give them give the opportunity to solve their own problems. This is parenting, right? <laughs> <laughs> Give them an opportunity to solve the problem, and if they can't, you step in and help them. Right? Sure, so this I is what guess, they've done. But, but okay, so especially when taking, you know two provinces yeah, so are acting taking, like kids. Taking the the parenting analogy further, okay. Oh, I'm so lose you've got at this. This is no good. Um, so you've got two kids and they're squabbling. Yep. And one hits the other. Yeah. And you just. You hope that the other one doesn't hit back, but finds a constructive solution right. that Teachable actually moment. that resolves the situation, not make not makes it worse and escalates it and yeah. all blows it up. And that's what I feel like that we're doing. Uh, no wine is us hitting back and escalating the the tension between the two provinces. I still look at this as a, as a negotiation tactic more than anything. More than an escalation. Yeah. Okay. It might be. I mean, who knows. Yeah, I don't know. Like, maybe BC will turn around and be like, fine, we're not taking any of your beef. And then we're going to be like, fine, <laughs> we're not taking any of your salmon. And then they're going to be like, fine, we're not going to take any of your wheat. And we're going to be like, fine, we're not taking any of your trees. And then no one's going to have anything. And then BC will just be their own country. And Quebec's going to be so jealous. <laughs> you know what we need? We need a wall. <laughs> <laughs> we have one. It's the Rockies. <laughs> we have a natural wall. <laughs> and it's mostly on their side. Which is a shame. We don't I have like to. Well, yeah. You're nice. Oh, yeah. oh. Cool. So, so that's your wine. But, but I mean, it's angered a lot of people. And now people, like, see, I think people care more about the pipeline now than they did before because they can't get their wine. In all honesty, I think this is true. I hope so. I mean, I hope that it's going to, like, spin off in a smart way. I hope it, yeah, I hope that. All of the silly bickering is actually going to spur intelligent conversation and dialogue. Mm -hmm. I have my doubts in mankind and society at large, but... Oh, sure. Don't trust anybody. I get that. People are jerks. So, anyway. All right. Moving along. We'll be monitoring that situation and... I got to... Uh, no doubt. Change my words. <laughs> so, um... Uh, if I can find my words. This... This... Federal government that we were speaking of that's supposed to be helping us, uh, you know, manage and fix our fix our serious problems and make sure that the economy is running smoothly in all provinces. What have they been up to? Uh, well, Justin Trudeau has been on a cross country tour, uh, well, creating new words. Uh, yep, hold on, let me because he's a linguist -esque expert. Uh, no, oh, he's not. Uh, well, I'm just saying that you are not really couching this correctly. Ah, uh, darn, because I really liked couching it like that. Uh, yeah, uh, I find a lot of people on the right really enjoy couching it like that. Uh, we do. Uh, okay, so let's swing for the middle. Uh, well, I'll just tell you exactly what happened. And there's, there's really no middle oh, yeah. ground here, because this is, the whole thing is nonsense. It's always, oh, well. The, the whole thing is nonsense. This is a thing that was taken way, way out of context. So in the middle of his uh, town hall, Justin Trudeau was asked a question. And this question was long. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to show you the clip. I'll show you the clip as everyone's seen it, which is mainly out of context. So this is the non-contextual clip. This is... And I'm just going to make sure I have sound here. That's the mute button. Oh, oh, whoops. Let me scroll oh. that back. My bad. We need a producer. That religious okay. Up in our legislation so that it can also be changed because maternal love is the love that's going to change the future of mankind. So we'd like you to... Uh, we would like to say people kind, not necessarily mankind. Uh, yeah. It's more inclusive. There we go, exactly. <laughs> Yes, thank you. We can all learn from each other. <laughs> all right, so, whoops. I don't want to replay that. So that, I don't want to see that. Is, the, that is the clip that everyone has seen. And right. it is sort of taken a little bit out of context. Now, even out of context, 
the first time when I saw this initially, I was like, oh, he was joking. He was making a reference to something else that happened earlier. And that is actually what happened. Okay. <laughs> so the people asking the question, I'll just uh, go back here so you guys can see who they are. The, the women who are standing up here asking the question. There's a, actually a really interesting side story here that I discovered today, and I don't really know all of the details, but I should actually look them up real quick. They are, uh, man, I read it today on Reddit. Not surprised. So I, I, I'll agree. Um, if we were to swing for the middle here, which we still need to... Yep, okay, Push our cat swinging right. for the middle. Swinging for the middle here. Um, can do that. Yeah. He's making a joke. He's It's not malicious. It's not it wasn't it wasn't putting her down. It wasn't disrupting the the situation. It wasn't anything. Uh this is yeah, the whole everything really is sort of a big nothing burger. Yeah, like it's really blown out of proportion. And my other thing is, let's say it wasn't a joke just for a moment. He wasn't joking. And he was like, and he was serious. No, we have to say people kind. Yeah, and he's just right. saying, and he's just even he's just saying like for you know for me you know we want to start saying people kind. What's the big deal? In all honesty, how does that change anything? Um, right. Like I don't think sorry, it makes the world worse. Remind what what was the word that she used? Mankind? Mankind. Okay. Um, the point of the matter, in my mind, would be the, the correct actual word that exists right now is humankind. Sure. Of which... What if he corrected her to humankind? Would that make a difference? Um, only in that it would show his ignorance that mankind is actually truncated from humankind. Uh, sure, but... The mankind part of it, like we we refer to right. man as man, and that is you know from right. that the, sort of stems into like the patriarchy, right? Well, it's man. When we refer to the the race of man, it's a short form of the human race. No, I I, I totally understand that, but I'm a man, right? Right, and women are yeah. not man. Right, right, and so I'm just saying there is subcontext there, and I'm not, I'm yeah. not taking a side on this. Yeah, I'm just um, saying that this is how people, that some people perceive it. Right. Um, my point of that would be, in the okay, so the right perspective, I think, would be. <laughs> Sorry, I know you mean right of center. The right, <laughs> the right wing perspective. <laughs> right. Yeah, let's let's. <laughs> I was like, well, that's a bold statement. <laughs> <laughs> the right-wing perspective would be, no, that's silly. We're not doing that. This is the way it's always been done, and this is the right way to do it, the correct way to do it, mm -hmm. right? Um, this, in an effort to swing for the middle here, I feel like if you want to say people kind, go for it. Mm -hmm. uh, don't tell me what to say. Sure. Right? Um, you know what I'm saying. If I say mankind... Um, you, unless you're misunderstanding and there's suddenly miscommunication about this, mm -hmm. um, if you honestly think that I'm that I'm using the term mankind in a way to be misogynistic mm -hmm. somehow, yeah, let's start talking about that. Like, sure, don't don't change the words that I'm saying because you think that my attitude is somehow incorrect. That see, seems like you see. I think I think a lot of I think this is where a lot of uh, conflict arises. I don't often think, and this is you know my perspective. I don't often think that if someone is wanting to change the language, as in this case, that they are in any way implying that I am personally, uh, you know, uh, trying to hold down another group okay. or or being misogynistic in this case or whatever. Right. Yeah. Um, I I honestly think that they are just sort of letting me know that, you know, the language, our language has a bias in it that biases towards maleness. That is okay. sort of non-inclusive. Right. In that sense. And it's not an attack on you. Okay. 
it's not like him oh, correcting okay. her. I don't think is an attack. You know, if it was for real, like yeah, I don't, I, I don't think it would have been an attack on her, right? And he, I don't think he would be calling her misogynistic or not thinking about women. I'm just saying that. I feel like a lot of times that's the way that the corrections are made, though. I th- that by I, saying I feel that like you that's are- just how people interpret it. I think that's how people internalize it. It happens all the time. Yeah. Like you correct anybody at anything, and a lot of people take it very personally. Yeah. Right, like even at work, you know, someone does something wrong, and you're just like, "Hey, this is how you should do it properly." Right. And some people lose their mind about stuff right. like that, right? Like, and and I I think a lot of that, and in this case, because this is even more personal than how you do your job, right? Like, this is language. This is how you talk, how you communicate, and by mm-hmm. extension, it's sort of it's supposed to be representative of how you think. For someone to say that the words that you're using. Uh, to to indicate to other people how you think are maybe uh, non inclusive. A lot of people hear that and go, "Oh, you're calling me non inclusive, right? Right? Oh, that word is is biased. You're calling me biased, right? right. We're saying, you know, no. It's the language has problems, and right. we're trying to correct the language. Now, I'm not saying that that people don't get real aggressive." When they want to correct people, and right. that's that's a real problem for me. I don't like how a lot of this stuff goes down. Yeah. But I also find that something that is reasonable and measured in terms of, you know, like this is sort of a lighthearted joke. But even if it wasn't a joke, this was, you know, he wasn't screaming at her. You right. know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like this is a pretty reasonable way to handle it if he's serious. Um, you know, and I don't think that the, that 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 should be interpreted as an attack. Right, like it never, it never even felt like an attack to me. No, did did anybody actually uh, report that he attacked her? Uh, Fox News, uh, Piers Morgan. Uh, I gotta find the Piers Morgan headline uh, for you. Hold I, on, it I'll, is funny. I'll enjoy that one because that guy is Piers Morgan's a dingus. That's he's, not the word I wanted to use. Man, but it's he's use. funny. Piers Morgan. Um, yeah, so I and here too, I feel like um, don't like if we want the language to change, mm-hmm. just start using different language. Yeah, but don't. Okay, here's don't come out and tell people like what language they should use. Use it yourself. Oh no, use it absolutely. yourself. Use it with your friends. Use it. And, I agree. And and have it, but but this like, I want you to do this way. I should be able then. Like, if you want to be that bold, and I think it is bold to tell someone how to speak, um, uh, that person should ha- just be able to, to say no thank you. And just, okay, what? And uh, Yep. I, f- I feel like you're inviting conflict well, I mean, a lot of times there. I don't know. Like, I don't know. It, maybe it, it, it depends on the word, right? Like, if something is True. generally socially speaking... Yep considered yes. to be highly offensive and someone uses that word you go you can't say that right yes now <laughs> mankind people kind i feel like that's still on the fringe enough it hasn't been brought close enough yeah. to the center I'm, of- I'm not saying it's the same as the words that we're thinking of yeah when i make this analogy yeah. but i'm just saying there are situations where i think it is fair to be like no no that's that not- is unacceptable yeah and i think just trying to figure it out in my head i think it's it's those words that you know, were once upon a time totally okay to use as slurs and all the rest, and mm-hmm. sort of they've they've sort of organically moved into more commonly be, to be understood as offensive, right? Yeah. Like you've got to let the culture catch up with what we're trying to do it, here. It, it takes a while, and there are people, and I'm sh- this probably happened you know years ago when other words were sort of trying. <laughs> We're, We're not going to go into these words, are we? I mean, I can, I can say I don't have a problem with it. I'm just saying, <laughs> you know what they are. I'll, I'll use one that I actually say all the time. Well, no, I shouldn't say I say all the time, but I say in, in talks all the time. I'm guessing. Uh, retard. Yep. That's my go-to. It's not my favorite word in the world, but, um, you know, it, it was until... I couldn't even tell you when it really fell out. People still use it, right? Like, 
all the time you hear people use, like, oh, that was retarded or right. whatever, right? Like, you hear that all the time. And I think it's okay to tell people, you know, it's not cool to say that. But it takes time for these things to sort of fall out of favor. Like, I hear it a little bit less now than I would have, say, 30 years ago. Oh, we hear it all now. the time, yeah. right? Because there's a better understanding of it. But there, there are people who are looking at words like mankind and, and these sort of more, where it's, it's a new idea to us that these words are biased, or, or that yeah. these words may have a bias, um, yeah. right? And they're trying to rip a Band-Aid off. And this is my, this is my problem with, I, I call it third wave activism, where it's all about getting results immediately. They've eschewed the yep. tactics of the past, where it was about gaining allies and just befriending people and being like, hey, you know what? Uh, we don't need to say this. We don't need to do this anymore. There are better things that we can say and do. And then they go, oh, you know what? I never really thought about it that way. But now you're like a friend of mine, and I sort of see where you're coming from. Let's change things. Now, there's still it's conflict that has to It's almost like you get more flies happen. with honey than vinegar. Yeah, it's like there's like an old saying about it, right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no one, no one likes the old anymore. Anyways, I'll read you the, uh, the Piers Morgan headline. Yeah, yeah. How dare you kill off mankind, Mr. Trudeau, you spineless virtue-signaling excuse for a feminist. <laughs> Did he do any back? I'll, I'll even read the first little bit to you. Mankind ended last night. I know, I know, you probably didn't realize, but it happened. A world leader publicly pronounced it dead. Yes, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau killed off mankind because he finds the word offensive. I'm not kidding. I wish I were. Fact checking, not a thing anymore. So this is a problem that I have with... I've had a really rough week with conservatives on social media. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> not, not been a great week for me. <laughs> um... So I'm, I'm not going to say this is a problem I have with the right, because I know the left does this too, but just because it's been one of those weeks. But, yeah. Um, people with a political bent, I'm going to put it this way, people who are very strongly politically motivated by everything, where everything has political meaning to them, cannot, there was a time where I'd say they can't take a joke, they can no longer recognize jokes. And I, it's, it's happened to me, you know. Uh, sometimes you get so far in your own head that you can't break out of it, and you're like, oh, right, my God, yep. I can't believe that was a joke. And I've defended, uh, you know, I, I've criticized the left for this with, uh, uh, I can't remember what it was. It was something true, uh, not true, something Trump said in Puerto Rico. There was like that thing where he said, I can't remember what it was. Oh, it was the, yeah. yeah. But yeah, it was yeah. just a joke, right? Like, you knew it was a joke. Yeah. And if it came from somebody who wasn't Donald Trump, people would have been like, oh, yeah, and they probably would have left. Uh -huh. But people looked at it, and it came from Trump, and they lost their minds. They're like, how insensitive, what a jerk. And I was like, come on, he's very clearly joking. And this is the exact same thing, but just sort of going the other way, where, in my opinion, when I watched the video of uh, Trudeau, he it's was just a joke. He was very clearly joking. Yep. Um, if you watch like more of it, it's uh, like the the beginning part. The, it's because earlier she, the woman who's asking the question, uh, uh, says that she's sure that God is a woman. Because oh yeah, because they're part of this weird Korean cult. Oh good. <laughs> um, so Edmonton apparently has a bit of a cult problem, which I learned today. We've got two. Was this in Edmonton? Yeah, this was in Edmonton. This was at the Edmonton town hall meeting, like from a couple days ago. Well, hey, yeah, oh, okay. Um, yeah. So they're members of the World Mission Society Church of God. Uh, apparently it is a... I feel like I don't like it already. Yeah, it's a destructive cult, and I'm using that term in... Um, there's like, it, it actually, that's a meaningful term in the world of cults. Yeah, yeah. So there's like a checklist of things that you have to check off to be considered a destructive cult. This falls into that. Um, it's a destructive cult based in Korea that worships uh, Zhang Gilja, a Korean woman who thinks she's God's wife. It has already had a presence in Edmonton for many years and has ruined many lives. Uh, I've heard it's been more successful at McEwen than at the U of A. Lots of media, including the BBC, have inaccurately referred to it as a feminist church uh, when it uh, especially destroys the lives of the majority of its female members. 
Um, there's a video that we can watch. Maybe we'll just uh, maybe I'll post it on the Facebook page or something. Uh, I haven't actually watched the video yet, so I'm going to do that before I uh, I uh, send it to you. But uh, yeah, there was a couple of where is it here? I, uh, there's more comments now, so now I can't find what I was looking for. Yeah, so they do like a lot of uh, family separation, sort of like Scientology does. Um, a lot of them are pressured to get abortions and donate all their money to the church. Um, things money like from that. the abortions? Uh, well, probably not, because I don't think you get paid for those. It's not like <laughs> donating blood. Um, actually, you don't get paid for donating blood. <laughs> not in Canada. Yeah, which I know because I donate blood. <laughs> But, One uh, of these times, maybe they'll give me money. Uh, they give me cookies. They pay me in cookies. All the cookies I can eat. I mean, I haven't put that to the test. I feel like that's Manitoba's never, economy. They've never cooked me up. Cooked me up. Kicked me out. Cooked, they've never <laughs> I've, now I've got me cookies up. on the mind. Uh, yeah, that would be great. We, we ran out of cookies here. But we've got another cult. Um, uh, hold on. i got to find it. It's. Uh, <laughs> We're going down the cult road now? Yeah, this is like really, right. this is really neat. Um Oh, damn it. Okay, hold on. It'll take me just a minute to find it. Oh, 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 oh. It's a staring cult. So there's a dude who has, like, a church. And literally... Here, I'll put this up so you guys can see the picture of what happens in this place. Um, it's You go there, and you sit there for, like, two or three hours... And you stare at this guy staring at you. And people from around the world, like from, from Europe, have moved to Edmonton because of this cult, because of this guy, John DeRyder, or Ruder, writer, I guess, I don't know. And you can, like, pay money and put, like, uh, if your name gets drawn, like a, like a raffle, and if your name gets drawn, you can ask a question. I don't know if he answers. My understanding is that they just stare at each other. One, uh, one of the people, one of the members, uh, described it as like an acid trip, just because he can stare into your soul, um, you know, and like y you feel like you've gone places with him. Like she said, "Oh, I've been to like Israel four or five times with him," but I don't think she ever was actually physically in Israel. But yeah, like Edmonton has like this weird cult subculture that I never knew about, and I'm gonna have to I. I love, well, I don't love cults, but I love, I love news stories about cults. I think cults are fascinating until they go horribly awry. <laughs> until they're inevitable until they pear shapers. Anywho, um, now I don't know if I clicked the button correctly. I guess I could just do it again. Ah, we're good. Okay, cool. Um, so. Okay, so. So. Now. This sort of ties in, this this thing and the last thing sort of tie into one another. Because it's about language. But, whoop, in case you don't know. More language debate. The Can Canadian National Anthem changed its lyrics. Officially? Officially. It was sang in Parliament for the first time today, I think, actually. Say what now? Control shift. Yeah, so... Uh, we changed the line of our national anthem uh, from In All Our Sons Command to All of Us Command. Uh, so this happened sort of conveniently just before uh, ahead of the Olympics. Uh, the Senate, I guess there's some sort of controversy involving the individual Senate members apparently not doing things that they normally did or have historically done. Uh, in order to make sure that this got through, in order to confound the conservative sitting senators who did not want to make this change. But somehow it made it through Senate. I'm not a government, uh, despite the fact they do a podcast about the Canadian government, sometimes it's a mystery to me, especially the Senate. Now, a lot of people, as you might imagine, uh, don't like this. Uh, I'm, uh, as you might guess, uh, I kind of don't care. <laughs> I don't think it's a big enough change for it to bother me. Um, 
Um, I don't understand why it would necessarily bother anybody. But that's me. It's also not uh, for people who've criticized it. Of go, go ahead. It's already changed on Wikipedia. Yeah. That it, makes it official. It's official. It's not the first change that's happened to the uh, national anthem. Uh, there's been a couple, but to be fair, it's been a long time okay. since the last change. Um, what I was wondering, what I was uh, wondering about here is uh, whether or not it breaks the grammatical correctness of the line. So the line is true patriot love in all of us command, mm -hmm. uh, which is still a grammatically correct sentence. So I don't care. Yeah. It, it sounds weird to me. Like, that isn't the change I would have made, but whatever. I'm not a songwriter. Uh, you know. Like, if this makes if this makes some people happy, fine, whatever. Yeah. I, do, I don't care. It makes, I a, don't care. makes a lot of people angry. I'm, like, I uh, am uh, curious that that's the line that they changed, but they kept the line, God, keep our land glorious and free. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a little shocked by that myself. But uh, Because I would have guessed... that That's an given, addendum. That's one of the changes, actually. That wasn't in the original lyrics. Which? Uh, God, God keep our land. What do you mean? Uh, that whole stanza? Yeah. Uh, uh, that wasn't in the original O Canada lyrics. That was added in like 1918 or something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's something I just sort of... It should be on the Wikipedia page, if anything. Uh, official English, official French. Uh, somewhere uh, in the history. Unofficial bilingual version. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, historical. Second and third stanzas... Yeah, so there's like a, it used to be a much shorter song, and then we just keep wow. adding stuff to it. Uh, and one of it was the God Keeper Land Glorious and Free Line. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely shocked that that's still in there, but I don't know that it'll that it'll ever come out. That'll that would be as big a pain as it was to change sons to of us. Uh, <laughs> you know, that would be a, a heck of a thing to try to convince people was okay to do. Yeah, I, um, I don't care that they've changed the lyrics. I'm disappointed that people are. Um, I'm disappointed that this is what people are spending time in. Yeah, I on. I've seen so many uh, things on Facebook. And this was sort of like the start of my bad week with conservatives, who were like. You know, it's like, share this if you're going to continue saying uh, all our sons command and you're proud of it. I'm just like, why are you even proud of this? You know, like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, you don't want to change two words. You're too, like, it, all it tells me is that you're lazy or, or you're dumb and you can't remember the change. Which is fine. Like, I get it's going to take time to, to switch over. I don't expect everyone to get it right on the first time. Pam's got a suggestion that it should have been in all our hearts command. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. I like Which, I, I like, like that better. I do like that better than yeah, like all the, of us. I, I find all of is us awkward. is yeah, it's really awkward to me. Like I'm not a big like like I don't mind the change overall. I don't like specifically. I think they could have done better. But like <laughs> I say, that's your tax dollars working for you. This is what government can come up with. Yeah, like it, specifically, they could have done better. But yeah, you know, okay. I guess we'll take it. <laughs> but yeah, all our hearts is good. I was just thinking even all of our command. Um, I think that tracks. Uh, I don't know that it does. Under all of our, as opposed to all our sons. I don't eh, whatever. I, I, I'm, I'm continually amazed at the things that people choose to spend time and energy on. Mm -hmm. The first world problems that we uncover, amazing. Yeah. I'll, uh, just to make myself happy, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to repeat, I'm going to say my, uh, my favorite Facebook status out loud for you guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, based on my Facebook feed this week, I'm pretty sure that uh, with all the time conservatives are spending or saving <laughs> by refusing to learn non-gendered pronouns, they just use it to make terrible, unfunny, misleading memes. And that's what I've been fighting all week, is just misleading memes. Not even the, the unfunny stuff, just the... I got really mad at somebody. Um, so, well, I got really mad at two Let's people. dredge it up. I got really mad at two people. So the first one was... So there's this huge criticism now about... Um, also at the Edmonton Town Hall, 
uh, Trudeau has asked about uh, the, the benefits for veterans. And there's a bunch of veterans who are currently suing right. the government. And Trudeau said, we don't have the money. Yeah. We can't pay what they're asking, right? And so I understand why people are frustrated by that. I totally do. Um, but I started seeing, uh, you know, a, a couple, there's two sort of I memes know which ones you're this. seeing. Um, there was the one that was, a, it was a whole bunch of, this is the one that actually really angered me at first. And I think sort of put me off the next one I saw. But it was literally a bunch of, uh, uh, coffins covered in Canadian flags coming back from overseas. It was mm -hmm. they used that picture, and they were like, you know, uh, how come he's got money for whatever? But uh, you know, he he says he cares about our veterans, but you know, and and you know now they're just exploiting this picture of dead soldiers, which made me irate. You know, like I I have this feeling, and I I not you know I have this belief that people who are trying to leverage this. Oh, like th whenever I hear someone say, you know, how can we, why are we sending money overseas when we aren't even helping our veterans? And I only ever hear that when people are making a political point and only when the government is spending money on stuff that they don't like. Right. And I generally, okay. generally speaking, I only hear this from the left or from the right, excuse me, when they're complaining about no, a left because the government. Love left just like spending money regardless. Sure, but a lot of people are like, you know, why are we, you know, trying to help countries overseas? Da da da. Why are we spending money and, on like refugees and whatever? Because people also believe that refugees make a ton of money compared to everybody else. That they're getting more money than the elderly and the disabled, and you see that all the time. Uh, I don't even address that okay, one anymore. But, uh, I just think that people only ever use the oh, how come we're not spending money on the homeless or on veterans? And I'm using that interchangeably because this is the only time I ever see it is when the government has decided that they need to spend money in a different Something. country. Something, right. Right. And then people are like, oh, how come we're not doing anything for the homeless? Because no one gives a shit about the homeless until there's oh, yeah. a political point to be made. Same about veterans. Um, I, I'm not nobody, but I mean, like, in general, yeah, like, yeah, uh, you know what I mean, right? Like. Yeah, but I don't know that it's always just a political point. Like I think it, it's the only time I ever see it is as I, I never see a fiscal political point though, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's the. I'm not saying the wrong. Hey, yeah, sure. I'm all for spending more money on homelessness. But right. as soon as the government says, "Hey, let's spend money on the homeless," people are like, "No." Ah, I see what you're saying. Right? Gotcha. No, I got. You. Okay, <laughs> sorry. I right? Let's spend. Let's give the veterans more money. No. <laughs> you know, like. Boggles my mind. Like, well, <laughs> it's it's so offensive to me. It's so see, offensive wait, and it's so both, transparent. See, nah, not necessarily. See, because both can still be true, right? Because um, you okay. So you're I'm a I'm the government, and I'm gonna uh, and you say no. I say let's spend money on the homeless, and you say no. And I say okay. Well, then let's give money to this foreign aid and you go uh no you're not even spending money on the homeless right right that's uh, a that's a logical contradiction you've just made <laughs> we aren't spending money on the homeless because you don't want us to spend money on the homeless no i get we don't have to spend money anywhere right but if we're if we're a country if we're a nation that is trying to be a leader in terms of being helpful to our neighbors and making good social change Part of that is investing money. Now, I get that that's a political thing. So where people are like, well, I don't care if we do that or not. That's not our job. So my point as like a, if I were a far, far right fiscal conservative, fiscal right wing uh, position would be, let's spend money on... Uh, foreign aid, it would be like, no, I don't even want to spend money on the homeless, let alone foreign aid. Sure. Like, don't spend money on that. I'll spend money on this before that, but not even this. Right, but that's not what they're saying, right? They aren't just saying, don't I spend money on, on foreign aid. Yeah, fine, I say that. I don't care. <laughs> no, perfectly fine to say that. But as soon as you start bringing in, you know, this, you know, you, this pretend sob story you have God, about how no. much you care about the homeless and the vets, when... And, uh, 
You know, and like maybe I'm not saying that you don't care about them, but it's clear to me that you never wanted the government to spend money. You don't care to spend money on it, <laughs> right? You don't want to solve the homeless problem. You know, <laughs> like you just want to put up uh, benches with spikes on it so people can't sleep there. <laughs> There's a whole uh, arm of industrial design that's about making things uh, uncomfortable. So if you go to like um, subway stations Any in airport? New York. Uh, airports, and they're doing this a lot in subway stations. So there was like a new station that opened, I think it's a new station, or maybe they remodeled it, but it was in New York, and they don't have benches anymore. They have what they call leaning benches or standing benches, and they're higher up, and I don't know, okay. So yeah, so they're like higher up on the wall, and yeah. they're sort of like butt height. So you just sort of like lean back onto them, and there's no way you can lay on them. It oh, is yeah. impossible. Right, and so what they're doing is they're just taking away all these places where some someone who's homeless could possibly sleep. So we're designing a world in which we do not welcome the homeless, but at the same time we refuse to do anything to solve the homeless problem in any meaningful way. Isn't it their job to solve their own problems? Bootstraps, guys, get a job. Go get a job, homeless guy with no address. <laughs> I dare you. <ya. laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what's the song? Uh, un <sighs> Underwear goes inside the pants. Have you heard this? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna link this. This is this is a perfect. The I don't know if this is the right video. I'm gonna have to find the right video. Remind me to put this. It's great. Um, because at one point, um, at one point, the guy, it's one of these talking songs, and he's talking about going and getting a job, and he's talking uh, at, at part of the song, and he's like, this homeless guy once asked me for money, and I, I thought to myself, well, he's just going to use it on drugs and beer, and I, then I thought, well, that's what I'm going to use it for. Like, why am I judging him for, like, yeah. using, like, it's, uh, and telling him to, like, thinking about telling him to go and get a job and I'm like and he's then he's looking at him he's like this guy's got his underwear on the outside of his pants I'm pretty sure his resume isn't all up to date I'm pretty like yeah he yeah so there's there, there's definitely some um yeah people yeah, have some like programs. this weird belief that you know a homeless guy can just go get a job that easy you know like a lot of people who aren't homeless can't get jobs yeah <laughs> <laughs> and the working homeless yeah. is now a and, thing yeah and that's very much a thing I got into a whole thing about that with the... Oh, we this week? We, no, no, no. I'll tell you my other one. This is what got me in trouble. I may <laughs> have been... I haven't checked. I may have been unfriended. He didn't reply to my last thing. So he did the thing about... Uh, you probably... Um, we don't have money for vets. Maybe we would if we didn't give a terrorist $10.5 million. Right. That's the other one. And this really frustrated me. Because, so I replied with, maybe, said maybe we'd have that $10.5 million if Canadian soldiers hadn't violated someone's human rights. It wasn't Canadian soldiers who violated his rights. We were there. I, I, hang on, isn't this the guy from Guantanamo? It was Canadian soldiers that violated his rights. Okay. Anyways. Anyways. So his, his, his argument was right. that uh, terrorists don't deserve human rights. This is his stance. We shouldn't have paid him because he's a terrorist and he doesn't deserve human rights. It was fine to torture him. And this is a guy who posts a lot of, I don't want to say alt-right, but a little more further right memes. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. And... Uh, you know, he complains a lot. Like, earlier, like the day before, we'd had an argument about a meme he posted about how... <laughs> you just have arguments with this guy every day. Yeah, yeah, I've had a lot with him lately. So <laughs> he posted one about... Uh, oh, uh, Canada... Oh, diversity is not our strength. Diversity is our... Will be our downfall. Because we have 46 foreign-born MPs. And that's what's causing Canada to fall. So I sort of questioned him on that a little bit, right? So just I feel like that's the end of a very long, logical... 
Yeah, yeah. So you, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying this so you have a sense right. of like who I'm yeah, dealing sure. with at this okay, point, okay, okay. right? So he comes back and he says, you know, they don't deserve human rights, and uh, and so so he complains. He has a lot of complaints about like mm-hmm. Trudeau and whatever. I have criticisms of too. I think they're generally fair, but I think he sort of comes at it from a weird way. And <laughs> so I said, you know, apparently for someone who complains about strong leadership, well, about a, about weak leadership, mm-hmm. uh, you don't know the first thing about being strong and, um, oh, fuck, what was the word? Uh Oh, it's, it's I I just run out of steam here. Oh, about uh, about about strength, about being strong and being principled. And he and he never came back to me with anything about that. Cuz I'll tell you, whether you agree with, you know, us having to pay a guy or not, cuz it's easy to say, yeah, he's a terrorist. We don't give him his money, right? He doesn't deserve human rights. It's it's easy to say that. Right, like you can convince anybody that you know that guy killed a bunch of people, or or whatever took part in. I don't yeah, know right. specifically what Aga Khan did there, but uh, you know, so screw him. We're not going to pay him his money, or we can just torture him. It's fine, right? But it is. It's harder. It's it takes more strength to stand up and say, you know what? I believe that everybody is deserving of human rights, and so I have to do the right thing here. That is not weakness. Yeah. Uh, agreed. Right? So Pam's confirming it was the government who knew that he was being tortured and ignored the situation. Mm-hmm. Uh, and points out also that human rights are meant for humans, right? Right. Uh, now, my devil's advocate, my question about that part mm-hmm. would be, we also have um, the Geneva Conventions right? about... There's certain things that you can do in, in conflict and thing, certain things you can't do. Mm-hmm. Um, they did the bad things first, right? Like, I mean, the, the human atrocities that the, sure. that the terrorists have committed are egregious. Certainly. So... Um, can we not respond in kind? Uh, no. I mean, we, we can if it's uh, war, but we can't say they tortured somebody, so we get to torture them. That's Those are different things. We had them in custody. We already had them. Yeah. Right? This, yeah, yeah. this We weren't, you know, on the um, field of combat or anything, right? Like, we, we had them in jail. Right? And you can't lower yourself... You know, like as soon as you start, you know, it's that it's that old thing. You know, now you're no better than them. Yeah. So, for example, if they won't let us ship our oil, we shouldn't sink to their level and ban their wine. I think this is a poor analogy. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. <laughs> I, I I think you're right. I think there's I think there's there there are reasons that we came that we agreed to the Geneva Convention that, mm-hmm. that there are reasons that we agreed to uh, standards of human decency. Yeah, and, and it's one of those things. Like he was like he was also talking about like how you know foreign-born MPs won't necessarily uphold Canadian values. And I was like, and you're you're going to lecture someone on Canadian values, and you think it's okay to torture someone? Well. <laughs> I didn't say that to him, but I, right, I was but I mean, ready to. I had that one in the chamber. Right, but I mean, and there. Um, uh, do, you, do, you, do you afford someone Canadian values when they don't uh, adhere to them themselves? Well, I think you're, you shouldn't be lecturing people on it or, or, or saying that someone shouldn't be... Because he was, he was at the same time he was the the post called for that people who are foreign born shouldn't be allowed to be elected officials in Canada, right? But but <laughs> right. So as soon as you become a citizen, you now have a right to run for office in Canada. That's a an interesting distinction between Canada and the states, eh? Yeah.
Sorry, what was the it, question? You just asked me something, and I sort of got derailed there a little bit, and I didn't really answer. <laughs> um, do, uh, it was a, uh, something about values. Can you yeah. hold Canadian values without? Do you get afforded Canadian values uh -huh. uh, in being treated like a Canadian? Oh yes. Um, if you're not uh, treating others like a Canadian, I think you should. I think probably. I think that's. I mean, um, if it's if it's up to me, yes. Yeah, uh, as yeah. So, side note: as far as like the the ten point five million or whatever, I think my biggest issue was that with that was the way in which it was conducted. Uh, <clears throat> how do you mean? Um, it was basically signed off on before it was even discussed. My, my understanding is is that they actually. Um, made an offer that was less than uh, what was would traditionally be awarded for a case like this. So they were actually saving time and money. Oh, that's that's see, that's my understanding of it. I that, I'd then, have, I'd have to I'd have to look that up. If that's the truth, mm -hmm. it's been horribly communicated. Oh, sure. Well, I mean, cuz people just you know, are all up like in arms about it. Everything like everything else, right? Right. Okay. Like everybody's guilty of it. <sighs> So now that, now that I'm done on. venting, sorry, that was my crappy <laughs> week on on the internet. I was losing my mind. Yeah, but it's okay because you know what will make it better? Everybody's favorite part of the show. Do, 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 do. Kickstarter crystal ball. Here we go. Okay, i got to start dragging and dropping. What do we... Uh, uh, so yeah. it was soul development? Pam's pointing out that the answer is always be nice. Yeah. Unless they won't let us ship our oil. Well, it's do unto others, right? As they do unto you, or you want them to do to you? As you want them to do unto you, I believe is how that goes. Right, so... I'm not a Bible scholar. Who knows? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's uh, not in the Bible, anyway. Oh, really? Nope. No, it's all eye for an eye in the Bible. Caught. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, depends, depends which Bible you're reading. The first half is eye for eye. Yeah. The second half resolves it. Yeah, but the second half doesn't count. Because if you believe the second half, you have to discount the first half. No, it's not how it works. Yeah, yeah. It's more of an addendum. I thought you just admitted you weren't a Bible scholar. I'm not a Bible scholar, but I know this much. I know that Jesus died for all those sins. Right. And then in the second half, it sort of discounts why he died. No, so no, no. Jesus dies in the second half. Does he? Yes. Oh, spoiler. <laughs> By the way, the best... The be, you know the show The Grand Tour? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so they, one of the Christmas episodes, uh, Jeremy Clarkson had decorated a Christmas tree with a cross on top instead of the star. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> James May is like, uh, it's, supposed to be, it's supposed to be a star. The cross is what happens at the end of his life, not the beginning. <laughs> you would put a giant spoiler on the top of the tree there. <laughs> That's good. Brilliant. Saul. So, oh, they're down to 27 hours. Oh, they're almost done. That's good. Jeez, um, I don't think we were even tracking this one in the spreadsheet. Um, great. Good for them. So, oh, they made it. Saul so made it? They what made it. Hell? They got... Uh, 11,000 out of the 10,000 they were looking for. And they got 27 hours to go. Good for them. Pam, am I wrong on that? Where did Jesus say that? Where did Jesus say what? Oh, yeah. Do unto others? Pam, Pam's a better... She knows the Bible better than I do. I mean, everybody sort of does. I mean... Which is the... Yeah. <laughs> you could just Google it. <laughs> you don't have your pocket Bible handy? I do, but... No. Oh. <laughs> Probably not indexed that well. All right, so soul development made it. <laughs> I will grab the next one because we don't need to keep talking about that one. Oh, our favorite one, Type 1 Writers. Oh, I hope it made it. It made it! Without our help. <gasps> they did? They did. Sorry, Pam. Oh, uh, we don't even get to help them. Sorry, Pam. We still can. They got 43 hours to go. <gasps> Pam's right. It's there. No, oh, look at that. We're, we're all teaching each other yeah. today. There's a different colloquial saying that's not in the that I'm mi mixing up with that one. 
Is it uh, children are meant to be seen and not heard? I don't think Jesus said that. No, Jesus definitely <laughs> didn't say that one. That's probably what you were thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a different one that's commonly ascribed to being in the Bible, but it's not. Uh, anyway, all right. We're just, oh, you're like. I'm just ripping through these first ones. Rip them ones, through. Because a lot of these are really old. Blitzwolf. Blitzwolf made it last week, I think. Yeah, it did. I'm just going to delete that from this document so we don't look at it next week. Yeah, I don't want I don't want to look I'm at tired of looking at that anymore. one. Blitzwolf is garbage. Ah, what else ah, we got? We got two, two buckets. buckets. This is that app. Oh, that yeah, this is the one that we thought. What did we say? Okay. Well, good thing we have the Kickstarter uh the Kickstarter, the spreadsheet for this. Two buckets, we said... Oh, God, we both said this was going to go. 23 days to go. Since the last time we checked in, they're up 7,000. They were at fourteen grand last week. Fourteen six four one. So, you know, people the, are... It's making a motion. But it's been two weeks since we looked. There's yeah, I feel like this might be slow. What... What Three did I say? Ago, we both said yes across the board. We think we think she's got the network we connection. We both right? said should. We both said will. Yeah, we we're basing that on the uh, on the connections that we, yeah, we think presume that she has. So that'll be interesting. Now it's going to go down to the wire, I think. Maybe she'll have a big search. That one will probably go down to the wire. Uh, uh, Emma yeah. Tome, this is the free advertising one. And Thankfully, it, still at zero dollars. Thankfully, yeah, this one was garbage. 38 days to go. Uh, we should just take this one off the list, too. Maybe we will. No, we got it. That one we got to make sure that no one actually goes. I guess it just it frustrates. It makes me angry every time I look at it. Yeah. Luxury yeah. driving loafers. Oh wow, these guys really stalled out. They have yeah. a, a week to go, and these dudes—they're not going to get it. Uh, they are not going to get it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just couldn't find it in my list here. They. <laughs> yeah. Pam amazing. points out we thought that uh, two buckets app. We thought she was pretty. So she's going to make it. Maybe. This is going to be the great... Is that how the world works? This is going to prove it. Oh, we're screwed. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, anyway, so these guys haven't changed at all since the last time we Just checked three, in. Just th the same three backers. Same three backers, same 810. So they're not doing very well. Good. Uh, the shoes are uh, I garbage. Think we, I think I said they'd go. Uh, no, we both said that they would get it. We did? Yeah. Oh, they are not. We, bo we get both it. said neither of them deserved it, though. Yeah, they definitely don't deserve it. Oh, this one I think I canceled. I hope. My nope. contact? Wow, I can't believe this is still up. Um, thankfully, people read this and go, I already have this <laughs> on my phone. <laughs> In a multi multitude of different ways. Yeah, there's like a million different solutions to this. I have another one that's sort of like this that's uh, a new one. Well, not quite. Not quite as. Dense is this one. <laughs> Cartoon pilot episode. Oh. Twelve bucks. What was it out last time? Did they have that twelve buck backer? No, they've made twelve dollars in two weeks. Twelve dollars. Oh, uh, they've got they've two, got two more weeks. weeks to get their twenty thousand? Yeah. So what did they actually get? Ten bucks out of their fifteen four. Which again, it wasn't the that right 15 number. Fifteen four is so not the right number. Oh that guy. Uh, he thinks that all of the money goes to him. He, yeah. Someone didn't read the terms and conditions. Um, uh, keep it banned. Oh, this is that travel banned thing. Ooh, man, they aren't doing very keep well. It, yeah, I totally heard something different there. Keep it banned, like B-A-N-N-E-D. Oh, no, this is the keep <laughs> it banned. So this is the kind of thing that I said should, uh, but won't. And you said should not and will not. Yeah. I'm uh, going to pull ahead here. Maybe. Well, we aren't keeping... Like, the shoulds don't really count towards our score. The can't. Because it's subjective. Well, I'll do it. <laughs> We'll find a way to make it count. Oh, you're just trying to get... I think we're tied anyway. I'm, I'm trying to wait, find a way to get an tied. advantage. Like, it's not like we anyone's way are. ahead. All right. City game, they got their pledging. I think we both what? said this would go. Uh, it's two weeks. Oh yeah, this yeah. was this was fantastic. This was the game. This was I said should not, but will, and you said should and will. So you can mark a yes down for that. Actually, yes, it did. Um, oh man, is it a leg? I down? feel like if you say should not, and it doesn't, that should count for like one point. Why? Because. <laughs> 
because there's so if you say that it should not and it does, you lose a point. No, if you say, no, then you get nothing. But if you say <laughs> if you say it will and it does, that's two points. You say should not and no, that's two points. If you say it should not and won't yeah. and it doesn't, yeah. that's three points. Why? Because you get two points for actually predicting whether it actually did or not, and you get a bonus point for your prediction being aligned with whether it should or not. This is really convoluted. I'll All make right. a, I'll make a, a rubric we'll, with, we'll write something with up. pie involved. Oh, I love pie. So right? Um, uh, this The leg desk. I don't think this moved. Oh, no, it did. I lied. It was at zero last time we checked in. There, there's a backer? Uh, one. If who backed for 50. Is, did I say this shouldn't? Uh, nope. I said it should? <laughs> yeah, we both said that this is the kind of thing that should exist on Kickstarter. Um, you said oh. it, you said it won't get backed. I said that it will. <laughs> I think I'm going to lose this one. Yeah. To be fair. Ah. Uh, nah, was Oh. No, I'm back to you're right. The the should should not yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Has yeah. nothing to do with the fact that I'm wrong on that one. Sure, <laughs> sure. Uh, I didn't actually get the, uh, I didn't keep the thing for this one. But I think it actually was. Pam, Pam has replied with the ubiquitous, his mom. Oh. I'm assuming backed him. Yes. Oh, I thought she was talking about uh, a pretty girl for our Kickstarter. And I was like, that's really sweet of you, Pam. <laughs> My mom will love to hear that. <laughs> oh, wow. This is actually pretty shocking to me. So this is the Cosmic Attack VR that I don't have in the document. But it is in our uh, spreadsheet. So they did make way more. Because they were only at 85 euros last week. 85? Just 85 yeah. euros two weeks ago. Uh, two, that's right, two weeks ago. Uh, they're so, doing so okay. they're not on pace unless they can find some good investors. Yeah, they're like what is that like a quarter of the way? Looks like maybe something like that. Around Roughly, a, yeah, a little bit more. A um, little bit more than a quarter of the way if we know how to do math, which yep. we don't. Uh, which, which I do, but still, that was uh, mm -hmm. really bad for me to look at. It goes that a quarter? No, because I know it's not. Um, <laughs> so uh, so there is there is movement here. We both said yes across the board. Yes, some yes, kind yes, of yes, a movement yes, yes, yes. there. But I'm a little worried about this. I actually thought this was a gimme. I really thought this was a gimme. Because they're only asking for 5,000 euros. And this is... Uh, what were they getting for this, though? Was it advertising? Was that the issue? Uh, They've already they got so much stuff there. Yeah, see, this is what I, this was what I said. Was people don't want to spend money on marketing. And uh, I think maybe that's what we're seeing here. Uh, they need to market the game that they've already man, made. Why did I say they would? Uh, I, I said they would because it was only five thousand. I think. <laughs> did I say they would? Yeah, we, we're yeses across the board. Huh. Both. Both. Having second thoughts will. in the sobering yeah. light of day. Uh, all right. All right. On to the new stuff. So this first one is an app. We have not seen good things from app Kickstarters, Dave. No. This is a new social media platform. <laughs> no! Oh, oh. Okay, app designers. I'm going to give oh. you some free advice. <laughs> if it's a new social media platform, da-da-da-da-da-da, just don't do it. We don't need create a new a, social media platform. Create a Facebook page. We don't, yeah. Uh, between Facebook, Instagram, Twitter... Uh, Snapchat. Snapchat. Yeah, I was like, I don't use it, but uh, Snapchat. Uh, there's, there's so many stupid. We've got them covered. YouTube, Vimeo. There's so many. Anyways, this one. Let's this, this, see how many people are going to this sentence a bar sums up the whole thing. Slash nightclub on any given night. Yep. Yeah. That's, no, it doesn't. That's because. Okay, the about just kills me. This is why I picked it because it didn't even the make sense. The new social to me. media platform that lets you. The, okay, so what, how this should read mm -hmm. is 
Um, Pam thinks this is just what she needs. It's, it's not Pam. It's really not. The way <laughs> the way this should read, scroll back to the top for me so I can... <laughs> just open the link. <laughs> no, I'm busy looking at others. <laughs> the new social media platform that lets you see how many people are using this social media platform on a given night. Well, it... Okay, I'm going to defend them here a little bit. There is a way to do it, but you have to partner with the bar. Because bouncers have counters. And this will only work at a place where they have someone with a counter. And you have to ha somehow get that counter number into a database. Oh, boy. I'm not saying it's easy, but it, it is. there is a solution there if you really want it. Pinterest is the one we forgot. Pinterest. Oh, Pinterest is... I like <sighs> Pinterest. Oh, Pinsir, uh, Pinterest is the cancer of websites. It <laughs> destroys your Google results now. Everything is Pinterest. Like if you look at like Google Images, it's all Pinterest. And you can't look at anything on Pinterest unless you're logged into Pinterest. I don't want a Pinterest account. It's not that hard. You can use your Facebook login for it. I don't, I hate doing that. Federated I, logins? I, I have separate logins for everything. Anywhere where it says login with Facebook, I go no. And I create a new My login. <laughs> I. My new name for you is Mr. Magoo. Ugh. Seriously? Federated logins. OAuth was created for a reason. Yeah, to track your every movement. Screw those guys. They don't get to know where I'm going. No, this is it's so few your business. People know where you're... No, uh. this is so Facebook knows everything about me. And they can target me with ads. I don't want it. I don't like it. You like random ads. I don't like ads at all. But I'd rather they not know what I was looking at. It makes me feel safer. <laughs> It makes me feel, it does. It makes me feel safer. Anyways, so this guy, so here's his pitch. Have you ever gone out to a bar or nightclub to have a good time with friends and run into someone you didn't want to see? Maybe you ran into someone you canceled plans with, or maybe you saw a family friend when you were supposed to be in the library studying. Worst of all, maybe you ran into an ex. Okay, step one. So, quit are, being a liar. Are you a liar? Stop being so dishonest. <laughs> wow. So our awesome and new innovative idea is to allow users the ability, this copy was written by like a 19 year old, uh, the ability to determine their choice of bar nightclub in a more informed and enjoyable way. This will work by providing users with a rating system for each individual bar as well as the number of people attending each bar. So there's like a Yelp rating, I guess? Right, so hang on, if, if you're gonna not run into people that, specific people, yeah. now your bouncer idea doesn't work. That now, is that is true, but I also I, like I just don't get how this works. Like so, I can see not only how many people are there, so, but I can see literally who's there. So, yeah, Dave, you want to do something tonight? Oh, wait a minute, no, I can't. I have plans, but make sure you use the bar app, okay? Yeah, <laughs> right. This he, guy isn't solving his first problem, which I'm assuming is his main problem. That he's a douchebag. Uh, a little bit dishonest. Maybe the guy just needs to be more honest with people. He's. A I don't feel like going out tonight with you. Uh, you know, I'm. I sh maybe you should study. Go to the library and study. Like, okay, that example tells me right there that this is like a high school or a university kid. Who's oh, it's totally this. university kid. Ha well, yeah, it has to be university. High kid. school kids can't go to bars. Well, maybe, without maybe he's just planning ahead. <laughs> right? Like, you because, can, because he doesn't know how bars work, so he thinks that this will work. This, this is the guy that plans ahead? <laughs> well, <laughs> look, if you lie a lot sometimes, and don't ask how I know this, sometimes you have to plan ahead. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> you have to have your story straight. This guy is planting the seeds years in the future. He's weaving his web. Weaving his well web. Well in advance. Mm-hmm. Maybe the guy's like a master criminal. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay. But yeah, this, this Ma is... The, the master criminal came up with... Oh, here we go. He's a junior enrolled at Kansas, Canisius College. We could look him up on Facebook if we felt like it. Which I don't. Nicholas White. Oh, he's friends with Greg Danzo. Oh, the idea to make Tinder for bars is a joke. Not as good as our uh, Tinder for our AIDS Tinder, but uh, <laughs> which I still maintain is a good idea for an app. It's better than this. Hey, is he in? No, he's not in Edmonton. Where? Oh God, I hope. I mean, I don't know. Let's find out. 
Nicholas White. Buffalo, New York. Buffalo, New York. Oh, shoot. Didn't mean to click back. My bad. Let's see if we can track this guy down. Ha ha ha, yes. Oh my god. I don't... I've never met this person, and I don't like him. <laughs> I didn't like him from his writing. I don't... I mean, he's clearly a very dishonest human being. Real trust issues with this guy. <laughs> yeah. The whole... The whole pitch is... Let's help you get away with lying. Not a fan. Guy, he's got this whole story about how he... By the time I finished the prototype, we were ready to follow our dreams. In the middle of development, I was offered an internship at the popular sports media company in Midtown at... What? I guess ESPN. They, they don't tell which popular media sports. It's got to be ESPN. Uh, this, inter this internship conflicted with the development process because I had to learn a lot of stuff by the time summer started. <laughs> don't even know where to start. Uh, learning a lot of stuff is hard. It's tough. It's hard to learn stuff. Hard to learn stuff. This is a, this is my new red flag. Whenever I see this, this is a shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> also, oh, this is definitely a shouldn't. Yeah. Um, also, this is okay, a little not. So, <laughs> I don't know. He's only asking for ten grand. Ten grand. Uh, also, app developers. Here's uh, here's an nickel worth of advice uh, it costs more than 10 grand to build an app well he's already got a prototype I don't care if you've got a prototype <laughs> well it's for like company paperwork <sighs> gonna do Android and iOS as, as well as a website go to various things such as company paperwork, development costs employee compensation what, what's the difference between these two things <laughs> and much more no if you are bringing on a contractor, that ten grand is not going to get you anywhere. The ten grand is going to go towards much more, <laughs> much more gummy worms. I guess. Like I'd rather, I would rather invest in a Kickstarter where it was like, I'm trying to eat ten thousand dollars worth of gummy worms. Oh man, that would. I'd go with that one. We should maybe that should be our Kickstarter. We oh yeah. We want to take a bath in gummy worms. So we need enough gummy worms to fill a bathtub. Two, because I'm not getting into the same okay. bathtub with you. We need two <laughs> bathtubs. So we need, to, okay, we need to buy two bathtubs and enough gummy worms to fill both bathtubs. This, honestly, I think it should be our Kickstarter. We'll get attention. And I like gummy worms. And I'm, you know, sort of 50-50 on baths. Oh, I love baths. <laughs> Drinking in the bathtubs like one of my favorite pastimes. <laughs> ah, sure. I mean, drinking anywhere. Yeah, but if you're already in the bathtub, like, <laughs> like the logistical advantages are abound. So Pam uh, likes this? Pam likes it. Pam's asking, how about a kid's pool? I'm like, no, I won't get in a kid's pool with Dave with in gummy worms either. Yeah, we could we could uh, save a lot of money by getting two kiddie pools. Oh yeah, we could do two kiddie pools. Yeah, yeah. I, I can get on board with that. It's the day, twenty eighteen. By the way, Caleb also hates confederated logins. Thank you, thank you. I feel vindicated. You're not. Well, I feel like I am. That's fine. You can feel any way <laughs> you want. I'm not going to tell you how to feel. You feel you. I will. Later, mm. <laughs> when I'm in a kiddie pool full, full of gummy, of gummy worms. worms. <laughs> Yay! Okay, what else we got uh, this week? Okay, so sorry, I gotta find my spot here. The next one is uh, the Outdoorsman. The Outdoorsman. This is just a website club store. Websites club store. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it is an outdoor recreation. It will website. colon. Uh, pertain, pertain to outdoor to all outdoor activities. All outdoor. That's key. You don't you, until you read the. You don't realize he literally means all. Uh, now I don't think he means all offer discounts, giveaways, and excursions because there's a lot of those that don't really apply to being outdoorsy. So uh, he's got some grimac 
He, yes, he does have some grammatical errors. Grammatical errors? <laughs> <laughs> Issues. Um, I don't know where he got this logo from, but he should return it and get his money back. Well, he got it from the 80s. What is this a map of? That is not planet Earth. That's a video game map. Yep. Man, I wonder what game that's from. Anyways, he's all about dedication, determination, and lifestyle and sportsmanship with the deepest of waters, the highest of mountains. And probably something up here. There's probably something at the top. Who knows? Uh, I don't. <laughs> nope, because it's cut off. So this guy is an old fogey. In today's age, this is in today's day and age, computers, cell phones, and social media rule everything, which is great and terrible all at the same time. Actually, he's kind of on board with us right now. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm an old fogey too, man. I get you. Fair. I, yeah, I get you. Uh, you can acquire and share vast amounts of information with minutes versus 40 years ago, and it took da 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 da, da. On the other hand, it has its downfalls, endless amount of sites and activities to see and do. Basically, he's concerned about fragmentation of information, and he thinks that there should be a centralized fount of information for the outdoorsy person. So whether you're like a hunter or a skier or a hiker or a fisher or a camper or a scuba diver, a uh, mountain biker... A gun enthusiast, whatever. Lawn darts. Well, I, maybe. I don't know if that really counts as... Out, I, you can't play it indoors. I Listen, guess. when I play lawn darts <laughs> inside, <laughs> I get in trouble. <laughs> Just play it in the basement. We try. Oh, you guys, do you have like the actual darts or like the weighted... No, like the actual darts oh, wow. from the 70s. Don't sell those. Or do sell them and get a lot of money. Then you can eat. <laughs> then I can eat. I have food. Put it towards the gummy worms. Yes. Oh, you'll be surrounded by people who share the same interests. Uh, so this is a website. Yep. Yeah, yeah, this whole thing's just a giant paragraph that says website. Jesus, this guy just writes forever. Uh, wow. <laughs> <sighs> he's researched, he's planning on... Next week, he's planning the Great American Outdoor Show to get sponsors, business deals, and donations. Yeah, that's what those guys are there for. Because... Because without try, there is no success. That's it's failure by default. Yes, but also trying the wrong thing is failure by default. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. <laughs> he's just not completely right. Yeah, he's Whee. maybe, you know, overvaluing what he's got. Here. Holy crap! <laughs> he's looking for 500,000 US. <laughs> I, did, I honestly didn't even look at that. <laughs> what is he building? He's I thought this was a website. He actually it was sponsors. <laughs> he actually is building a singular repository for all information for outdoors. Oh god. What uh, is this a government website? The only risk I ever worry about is the ones I don't take. I'm a critical thinker and I'm fast with an effective response. So anything that could arise as a problem, you can be assured it'll be taken care of as fast as possible as efficiently as possible. Which one? Fast or efficiently? Uh, he's so fast and efficient, he didn't bother to proofread this. That would make him just fast, but not efficient. He's ran through the marketing techniques. Reading about the Maybe best Maybe he should have walked the through the marketing techniques. He definitely went a little fast on that. To get this club in front of the right audience. Yeah, no, you haven't, because the right way to get this club in front of the right audience... The best way to get this club in front of the right audience is to create a Facebook group, uh, which yeah. Pam has already suggested. Yeah, make a Facebook group. Start there. Start small. Make a Facebook group. You know what? <laughs> Go, Caleb make, saw the price before we did. Make, make a <laughs> WordPress site <laughs> for free, real yes. quick. Yeah. With your URL, add a, you know, or, or or whatever, some sort of like website building platform, right? You can go get a forum plugin, which you're going to need, because this is literally just a forum. I hate to break Wait, it. Wait, this to concept you. exists? Yes, this already exists. I bet you if I Google outdoors forum, I will find a handful. I know I will. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I wish he. Oh God, I really wish that he listed what he was spending the money on. Like, where is this $500,000 go? Is that what he said, too? 
No, oh. that's from the last one. Um, Where is five? Why do you need a half a million dollars to make a website? What? This isn't 1997 when only 10 people on the planet know how to build a website. Everybody knows how. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say this one shouldn't succeed. And I'm going to take oh. a stab and say it won't. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, no kidding. Hold on, I gotta. But we could put up our gummy, bur uh, our gummy worm Kickstarter. Okay. And justify our asking price by pointing to this one and saying it's nowhere near how much this guy's asking. Yeah. I, Just okay. to put it in context, we're not asking as much as that guy. We should get it, no problem. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> he's he's writing the HTML himself and keeping a paper copy of each version of each page. <laughs> Somebody's one saying of, that? Caleb. Oh, thank God. Yeah. I was like, please tell me you didn't read that on the... No, no, that's not... <laughs> <laughs> okay, how many days is he going for here? 59. Yep. Not a lot of confidence in this, buddy. Mm, no. Uh... Pam wants us to be gluttons for punishment and offer to build it for half the price. Well, I, I, That's see, not a terrible way to make a quarter million dollars. Think about <laughs> what that would actually entail, though. This guy you, sounds like the worst client. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is prime clients from hell fodder. Yeah, yeah. For <laughs> sure. This guy thinks it's real. Like The guy makes it sound like it's really, like, he makes it sound like he thinks it's real easy. There you go. Thank you. Um, and he's going to ask half a million dollars for it. Either that or he like thinks that websites are total magic and take wizardry to create. And Yep. I just want to give him some advice. There's like a... I don't, I don't want to talk to this guy. I never oh, no, no, no. Like, I don't mean like face-to-face, <laughs> -face, like, let me give you a whole bunch of advice. Like, I want to stay away from the crazy people. I've never had to type in... That's my New Year's resolution this year. Stay away from the crazy people. Yeah, that's a good idea. Right? The last one was time. asking for ten grand, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, Nonsense. Uh, Half a million dollars to build. Okay, so we're both uh, nose across the board on that one, I yes, guess. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm a guessing. Okay, so this one is a game. <laughs> this is a video game. We uh, need this one now. The Anger Management Simulator. I figured we'd get here, but this is. We're, I actually I didn't watch the video, so we'll watch the video, but. Mm -hmm. So this is, do you ever feel like beating someone up? This I love the pitch, but can't, since we live in a civilized world. Like, that's what's stopping us. <laughs> we are about to hand you the virtual solution. Now, reading the copy lower down, this guy clearly has problems. But we are, <laughs> uh, we're all going to watch this video together, everybody. So let He's, me uh, click on. He's asking for a fair chunk there. He's eh? asking for 500,000 sec. Swedish Where box? is this guy? That's not Swedish. Uh, is I he K? I think it is. Sorry. It, sorry, you were right. So he's asking for just under 80,000. I was thinking Swiss francs. Okay, so I'm going to... So he's asking for almost 80,000 Canadian. Uh, is this mute? Oh, dear. Here's your anger management simulator. I hope this is the prototype and not the final version. This guy has problems. Like, like, we're not hearing any sound right now, so if you guys aren't hearing any sound, it's just the video. Sorry. Oh, dear. Probably for the best. Yep. So that's anger management simulator. <coughs> Our goal is to take various violent scenes from real life and transform them into a safe and harmonic environment for anger management. The first scene will be an interrogation scene uh, where the gamer is given multiple tools to make a client talk. Scissors, chainsaws, blow torches, hammers, cutters, jumper cables, and much more will be featured. We also strive to make a realistic damage model with bones, intestines, lungs, kidneys, a beating heart, brain substance, and flying teeth. The final version will include multiplayer and have VR support. The biggest risk is that this game will be too violent and disturbing for the internet to accept it. 
The internet like will accept anything, first of all. <laughs> I've been on the internet long enough to know, and I've seen horrible, there, horrible things. There's a place on the internet for it. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's not a problem. The problem is this is a horrible, horrible thing. This is thing. a terrible idea. Now, maybe... Just going to throw this out here, because uh, maybe you're not too up on Canadian politics guy, but uh, what's your name? Doggleinen? By Doggleinen? Oh, this guy's in Sweden. That's Yeah. Uh, so, uh, my I'm impression gonna, gonna of, the s- swe- of the of the Swedes, Swedes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is very different suddenly. Well, maybe he's really into Norwegian black metal. Are you familiar with uh, Norwegian black metal bands and the stuff that they do? No. Um, so, like, a number of, like, band members have gone to prison for murder. Uh, the most famous, whose name I forget, he burnt down, I want to say, 13 churches in Norway. And I think he also killed somebody. I think his name's, like... Necro or something like that. It's got some mm-hmm. weird sort of moniker. But anyways, they Norway was sort of they had like a like a, a a black metal band epidemic, where all these black metalers were trying to prove that they were more black metal than the next guy. So it was like this weird escalating war of anything you can do, I can do better, uh, in violence and blood, uh-huh. and like weird sacrifice. And like there's a bunch of them in jail now. And, it's really messed up. So, I mean, Sweden's really close to Norway, so maybe this guy's... I don't know. This, you know, sometimes people just have problems. But I was going to say, I was going to make the, the very tasteless joke that he should name this little character in the middle here, uh, Aga. And he should make everyone holding a baseball bat Canadian. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But I'm not going to make that joke. See, suddenly it's uh, kind of an interesting idea. All, right, all, all of a sudden you're on board with it. <laughs> <laughs> Ham thinks it's going to get funded. Ooh, yeah, that's an interesting. That's I Honestly, I'm not sure. It's a really short write-up there, hey? Yep. Oh, that's really yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay, so and I feel nice. like his budget's probably sufficient. Uh, yeah. What's, uh, sorry, what's the number in SCK? Is it 500? 500,000. Okay, good. I don't need to change that number. He's currently at 39. Hmm. 39 uh, Canadian bucks. So that's not the number I need to put in there. Uh, 252. That's a much better number. So for, yeah, looking at the rewards here, for like $16 Canadian, mm-hmm. which would be like 10 American, well, no, a little more than 10 American, uh, they'll make sure you get early access and the final version for free on its release date. 32 bucks, uh, free release and exclusive beta. Uh, 158 excuse me, I Canadian. I paid betas, by the way. This is an aside. You're supposed to pay your beta testers. I'm not supposed to pay for the privilege of testing your broken game. Uh, yeah. It bothers, like everyone does like it now, the, and it really bugs me. Well, yeah, but I think, I feel like this is, um, what you're paying for isn't to be a beta tester. You're paying to get the experience first. And give your input. That's how they always sell beta. That's how everyone sells it. I know. I, I, I do. It just frustrates me. I do agree. I, I get why it happens, but. Whoa. You spend fifteen hundred dollars on it, and you oh. get a custom tool. They're gonna send me a chainsaw, something like that, yeah, right? Oh, sorry. Uh, perhaps sorry. you would like to see a guitar, drumstick, or a cucumber? Question mark <laughs> added to the arsenal. Well, we'd be happy to see it through. All right. Huh? Sorry, I was looking at the fifteen thousand, the thirteen thousand one. Custom client. This kind Whoa. of money will add one Whoa. of your loved ones, perhaps yourself. God, I. Feel like you shouldn't be allowed to do that. Oh, that's disturbing. That sounds illegal. Is there a limit on that one? Nope, shouldn't be. 
Man, I feel like I feel like if this gets funded, someone's gonna pick this one. <laughs> this thirteen thousand dollar one. <laughs> so if we do the breakdown, so what's the lowest? A hundred S E K? Two hundred and Okay, so I think you're gonna see most people sitting around here, like the two hundred. What's what's that average out to? Here's what's thirteen hundred divided by three? Four four hundred and four or three. Four, let's say four twenty just for the sake of argument. If only we had like calculators with us. Uh yep, yeah, I'm just opening Somewhere my calculator close. right now. Yeah. <laughs> so I was I needed to do it I needed to open to do the calculation I was gonna do after this. My junior high math teacher was wrong. We have calculators with us everywhere we go. So assuming people are sort of just in those first three and that's evenly distrib distributed, yeah. they need uh, almost 1,200 backers, 1,190 backers if no one goes for the top two and they aren't skewing real high. Yeah. Like towards the $50 I one. Because I wouldn't pay 160 for this. Like, I mean, even if I liked the concept of the game, I wouldn't spend. I don't spend 100 and 60 bucks on games that are done by AAA studios. No. No. Like, I have a hard time spending 80 on those. <laughs> yeah. So do I. 60 is sort of the highest I'll... Yeah. I'll like, I'm, I'm really patient, generally. The last game I bought on release was uh, Destiny 2, and I really regret doing that. And, and I have a PlayStation Plus account, so I get free games every month, and the Right. One of the last couple times I actually bought games, I wound up being free like two months later. Uh, That'll so, learn you. So I was really cranky. So, <laughs> although when Red Dead Two comes out, I'm buying that day one because I do love Red Dead Redemption. Anywho, these guys need twelve hundred backers. Twelve hundred backers. Eleven ninety. Eleven ninety one. And that's assuming even uh, equal distribution between the bottom three tiers. Yeah, it depends. Hmm. Um, it depends what market sees this because I think, yeah, I think I think Pam's right. There's no shortage of like disturbed people who just want to beat the crap out of stuff, right? Like on the especially on the internet, yeah. there's plenty of those people. You know how this guy? I think what he should have done is not made. Like I get that he just prototyped this dummy here. Yeah. Uh, but he, if he made a model or he implied it in the copy somehow that this was an SJW. <laughs> and I know this is awful to say, but if he said that this was a social justice warrior who is uh, demanding uh, equal representation in video games and he just plopped this uh, with like a Gamergate hashtag somewhere, he'll get his money for sure because actual SJWs or you know actual people who uh, you know believe that there's an issue with uh, sexism in gaming will jump on this and promote it to high heavens, and all of the Gamergate people that troll them will see it and just to troll them will come and fund this. And more than one of them will uh, definitely buy this one to send a picture of their favorite target in the world of Gamergate. Like it is, it is evil genius. This, this, but will that's that is how you market this game and get it funded on Kickstarter. This guy could make a million dollars. When did this go live? Today. This went live today. Hey. Yeah. Uh, well, he's got three backers already. I mean, for like 252 12, sec. 12 bucks. But Yeah, so like those three backers don't even really count because they didn't even get like the lowest tier. Yeah. Um, like if I wanted this game to get made, I would pledge a dollar just to comment. Whoops. Yeah, we've been firing the last advance all over the place today. <laughs> Accidentally. 
Uh, yeah. So, anyways, oh. I would I would spend a buck so to send a comment to that guy to tell him to make those changes. This one's this one's going to be interesting to watch. Yeah, this, uh, this like, one's going to be. Very I, I just I just laid out exactly how he can get his funding. I guarantee you. I guarantee you that it'll, it'll get funded if this gets picked up uh, by the right people on Twitter. Interesting. Like I wouldn't even <sighs> see now the 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 other thing that could happen here is that you know a lot of people who are you know uh, targets of GamerGate they're gamers themselves right and they they're gonna they probably go on Kickstarter and look under the video game section and one of them's gonna find this and be like this is the most you know this is super offensive mm-hmm. this this could accidentally blow up yeah if like the right this accidentally gets in front of the right eyes. Like, just one person. This can blow up entirely. <laughs> just just out of spite. And he's got two months on this, hey? Oh, sorry, no, one, one month. month. Just one. The last one had two months. Yep. In the next month, can, can it stumble across the right... This is a tough call. So I don't think this... I'm going to go no on the should. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it should not get, this should not get made. This is, this is disturbing. This is, this, is a, this is a video game that the world does not need. We don't need this. But are the dark corners of the internet going to find it? Yeah, if I, I, if I dropped a link... I know exactly where on Reddit I could drop a link to this. And this guy would get funded immediately. The, I like. I'm halfway tempted to do it just to see if I'm right, but I don't want this to get funded. <laughs> so I don't want to do that. Well, even if it got funded, there's no there's no guarantee that he can actually turn out a product. Well, right? that's true. But I feel like uh, like I'm just scared. Like this guy would get funded like fourteen hundred percent or something like that. Like <laughs> I don't want that. This on isn't. My- this isn't the kind of guy that you want to have disposable funds. No, <laughs> I, I don't. I don't want that on my conscience. You know, I don't want to be the guy that did that. All right. Well, so we've got our should shouldn'ts. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say it's not gonna go. I don't think the. I'm gonna. I'm gonna guess that it's not gonna go because. People are going to look at this and say, this guy doesn't have the, the expertise to actually get something out. Even though he's got a demo that sort of, sort of looks like it, they're, they're going to be skeptical about... ...funding something like this that he can actually produce a good, good, good quality product. Yeah. I don't think there's $80,000 worth of confidence in it. So I'm going to say no. Oh, I honestly don't know what my pick is here. Ooh, man! Like I know that this this will explode. Like it'll either be nothing or so much. I, I think. Like I that's have, my feeling on this. Yeah, and I'm gonna say I have faith in humanity. I'm gonna have just enough faith in humanity to say it's not gonna be anything. Ah, uh, can. Can this be avoided for... Can we avoid for a month? I think maybe. See, here's my... The big problem I have, though, is someone's going to find it, and they're going to mean well, and they're going to tweet about it and be like, look at this disgusting game, and it's just going to be this weird chain, (laughs) and then someone's going to be like, ah, I could put my favorite picture of Anita Sarkeesian on this, or whomever that they... Are targeting currently. Oh, oh! I've never been so torn. This is the hardest one I've ever had to make a decision for. I think I can really see this going either way. I am going to. All right, just to be contrarian. So we can have a difference in something this week. Yeah. And, and I think that this, that the right circumstances this could go, I'll say yes. 
That is my official answer. You say, oh, you say it's going to... I say it's going to get its funding. The dark corner of the internet is going to... We'll find it, and they will do it just to mess with people. If nothing else. <laughs> All right. That's my, uh, yeah, that's my final take on that. And now the waiting go, the waiting commences, and we'll continue our... <laughs> like, I kind of really desperately want to be wrong, but... I want you to be wrong just so I can win the game. I don't care about that. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> do we want to do a rando off the front page? Or? Well, it's we've been a going little for late. It's almost, we've been going almost for ten. Yeah, going for quite a bit here. All right. Okay, so we want. So with that, we'll wrap it up, and we'll see what happens uh, next week. We may or may not have internet. Yeah, we'll see you next week. I think uh, I think the two weeks off did as well. We had a really uh, I feel like we had a really strong episode this week, mainly because I was yelling about. You had a bad week. I had a bad on, week the, internet. on the internet. And uh, is, I usually have a bad week on the internet. To be totally <laughs> honest with you, I bring it upon myself. Well, anything for the good of the show. I can't help myself. Anywho, that's it. So good night, one and all, and we will see you in seven days. Night. Night.